Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified instructor, Cisco instructor at ASMED.com, which is ASM Educational Center. We're looking at Rockville, Maryland. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, how you and I we can configure the VLAN. That means in this diagram we have we have a switch right here. The, the goal is to create VLAN two with the cells and VLAN three with the engineering. So this PC, I want to make sure they can talk to each other, and this PC, they can talk to each other. Now, when I go to my switch, which is right here, I'm going to type in show VLAN brief. By default, as you see, that all the ports are on what? VLAN 1. All the ports on VLAN 1. That's, a, that, that's the by default. Is. Now, the goal is to create VLAN. Now, to create VLAN, there's two-step process. First, you create a VLAN, then, you go under interface and apply to that VLAN. So here's my notice. Let's go back to here the notes. So once you switch that, all the ports are VLAN 1 by default. We just plug in into the camera and the device can talk. Furthermore, all the ports are in the up up mode, admin up. So that's what the all the ports on what VLAN 1 is, okay? But now the goal is that we want to create two VLAN. I'm sorry, we want to create VLAN. There's two step process. First, you have to create all your VLANs, then you have to assign the port. Right now, in the diagram, PC1 is on VLAN 2 and PC2 on F02 on VLAN 2. PC4 on port 4 and PC5 on port 5 on what? Engineering. So, what are we going to do? First, we're going to create all our VLAN first. There's two step process, okay? So, I'll go back to my right here. I'm going to say config T VLAN. Question mark. I'm going to give it name two. When I put a question mark, I'm going to give the word name. Okay, name. And that name of the VLAN we want to be called what? Cells VLAN. So I'm going to call it what? Cells. Okay. Then I'll type in exit. VLAN. You don't have to type exit, but you can do a VLAN 3 name EGR. Control Z show VLAN brief. If you notice that. I created VLAN 2 and 3 but by default all the ports on what VLAN 1 so in order to do that I have to go under each port these two ports has to be on VLAN 2 according to my diagram and then port what 4 and 5 has to be on VLAN what 3 so that's the goal is so that's what I'm going to write now I'm going to say config T you have to go INT F0 slash 1 you have to be on the port now the key to remember that always type in switch port question mark now you want to focus your eyes in these two guys mode and access later on if you want to trunk you focus your mode on mode and trunk okay later on if you want to do port security you put your focus on port security but right now we're going to focus on these two guys so I'm going to switch port mode question mark now since PC is connected I'm going to put access if it was a switch to switch or if I want to make a trunk port, I'm going to use the word trunk. So here I'm going to say what? Access. Then I'm going to say switch port, question mark. I did this. Now I'm, I did this guy. Now I'm going to do the other guy. So I'm going to say access, question mark, what I need. VLAN, question mark, and then VLAN what? Two. Okay? So control Z. Let's check the work. Show VLAN brief now we see that port 1 on is on VLAN 2 but I want to have a port 2 there too but before I do that I do simply again config T int f slash 2 again switch port always always when I start with the what switch port question mark okay remember you, now your focus should be in these two guys mode question mark then you can put that access enter switch port question mark I've done the mode now I'm going to access access question mark I need what VLAN question mark then I need the number in this case can be two okay control Z check the work show VLAN brief as you see the ports right here now let's look at the show run show run it's very important to look at the show run all the time I come down right here for port one and two right here Again, the key is always, always start with a switch port question mark. Then you put access, VLAN, switch port question mark, okay? So these are my notes. I go through the whole process. This is creating VLAN first. 
after create VLAN, I see all the ports on VLAN 1, then I have to assign the port. Here I assigned on the F01, and when I say show VLAN brief, I see that port F01 is on VLAN 2. I gotta do the same thing for what? F0 on the other port F02. I go INT F02, switch port access VLAN 2, and all of that. I see these two ports right here, which I explained to you. Here's my show run. Again, always, always you have to put those under what? Interface. And always start with a switch port hint. You must be on the interface assigned the VLAN. That means you have to say INT something. Always start with what? Switch port question. That's very important, okay? Now I'm going to do port what, 4 and 5. Remember that port 3, F3, my diagram is what? See, 1 connect to port 1, 2 connect to that, but 4, PC4 connect to port 4, and PC5 to 5. So F3 is empty. I'm going to do the same thing for here. Config G, ING. I can use the word range. Range allow me to do the same thing. F0 slash 4 dash 5, okay? So range means I'm doing a bunch of them. Then I'm going to say what? Again, switch port, question mark. Now you focus your eyes on these two guys. Mode, question mark. And you what? Access. Enter. Switch port. Again, question mark. Now I did mode. I'm going to do it with the word access. Access, question mark. VLAN, question mark. VLAN what? 3. Because that's what right here, VLAN 3. Okay? Right here, I see. VLAN 3. All right. Now you check the work. How you check the work? Show VLAN what? Brief. I see that port one and two is this guy, and port three and that, I mean four and five is right here. Now these guys should talk, and these guys talk. Let's see if we can talk. I go to here. I go to command prompt. I type in IP config. This is ten 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 dot one, and this is the subnet mask. I'm going to ping. 10.10.10.2 I'm pinging PC2 because PC2 is that so I can ping that as good so my VLAN is working here now go to PC4 command prompt IP config now this is 2020.40 so I'm going to ping what 2020.5 ping 20.20.20.5 I can say I can ping so right now these guys can park these guys can ping but from here from this land i cannot talk to this land why is that because i need to have a what router let me ping ping 20.20.20.4 it doesn't work because in order to be and talk you need to have a what a router here okay so that's why i say my notes so what are we going to do we're going to go back to my notes right here this is called what inter vlan communication we have segmented network using VLANs. What if we need to have computer in different VLAN talk? This is known as what? Inter-VLAN communication. We will need to use a layer 3 device like a router. Therefore, we use a router to connect to this VLAN. Now, this I'm going to talk about later on. And another video, I'm going to talk about router on stick. Right now, we're just going to imagine that we just want to talk to these guys and talk to that guy. So what do we have to do? We have to put a router, connect the cable to F03. Remember F03 is open. I'm going to connect this cable from this side of that to F06. So I go to my packet tracer, open up my packet tracer. I click on what router. I bring 2811 router right here. Okay. I'm going to connect a cable, straight through cable from what? F00 to port what? 3. Okay. So this will be what? F0 size 0 and the IPS can be dot 100 okay so this IPS is going to be 10 right here 10 dot 10 dot 10 hundred for this guy then I'm going to go back to here F01 I'm going to connect to port 6 okay and this one is going to be F0 size 1 dot 100 that means the IP address of F01 is going to be 20 to 100, okay? So let's go to router. I go to CLI, just say no. Enable, config T, and we give a host name R1, no space IP domain dash lookup. Sorry about that. So we don't waste time. Control Z show ip int brief as you see this is what 
shut down like before you have to make sure this is up up and has IP address so I'm gonna say what config t int f0 slash what one I'm right now this I'm saying f0 zero zero f0 zero zero right now I'm at the this guy and this guy means this side so that's gonna be 10 10 10 dot what right here 10 10 100 okay so IP address 10.10.10.100 don't forget just no shut then I'm going to say int f3 slash 1 now I'm talking right this side for this guy for here which is same as these default we have 20 so IP address 20.20.20.100 with 255.255.255.0 then what no shot okay control Z you check the work show IP int what brief so right now it's good okay now let's look at the notes right now it's very important so I do all of that good stuff I assign the port to this default here all of that good stuff show IP into brief I see up up now right now now from PC1 Let's see if we can ping default gateway. Watch this. I go to PC1, IP config. Well, actually, let's see ping. We can ping 2020.4. You see, I see cannot ping that. So I'm right here. I'm right here. I want to ping PC4. It does not work. So in order to do that, you have to do troubleshooting. Okay? How do you do that? Always you try to type in IP config. Just finish. So I'm going to say IP config. Let's see if I can ping default gateway. Ping 10.10.10.100. Now look at this. I even cannot ping my default gateway. I cannot go from here to here. Now why is that? You have to think of the what? OSI layer model. That's where the OSI layer model comes from in picture. Remember that IP is layer what? Layer 3. So when you ping IP, first you go physical layer. That means you're going to have a right cable. Okay? Layer 2 means what? Data link link or switch. You have to make sure you check your switch. Then you can check IP address. So what that means, look at here. When I say show IP show VLAN brief, now look what happened. Port this this cable is going to what? F03. Port F03 is right here. In order that all of this PCC PC1 can talk PC2 because they're same VLAN. In order PC1 and PC2 ping default gave it, I have to change F03 to here. Same concept. PC4 and 5 they can talk because they're same VLAN. But in order to talk to this set of router, which is on F0, oops, I think I put the 7. Let me delete this. Oops, cancel out. I'm going to delete this cable. And I connect cable from what? One, two, six. So that's six good. In order this PC, that PC, that, that PC, they have to be what? Same VLAN. So what that means when I finish it, port one and two and three has to be same VLAN, and four, five, six has to be this VLAN. So let's do that right now. Config T. INT F slash what? Three. Again as before, switch port question mark then I need to focus on these two guys remember that mode question mark access then we say switch port question mark now I'm going to focus on what access question mark I need what VLAN then question mark I need what VLAN VLAN what two okay control Z show VLAN brief so this is good that's so far good I gotta put port six here also so I'm going to do the same thing again config t int f0 slash what 6 switch port question mark focus these two guys mode question mark we put access question mark enter switch port question mark now you need what access access question mark you need what vlan I mean, let's always use question mark vlan question mark then you put what vlan what number 3 so check the word show vlan brief see these are right here now let's say show run again show run I see that port 1 is VLAN 2 port 2 in VLAN 2 port 3 also in VLAN 2 which is good port 4 is on VLAN 3 
port 5 is on what? VLAN 3 and port 6 and also VLAN 3, okay? So let's see if I can ping right now. I'll go to PC1, see if I can ping defogger. Aha, uh -huh, I can ping my defogger, which is very good. Now let's see if I can ping this side. Up arrow key, 20. Let's see if I can ping it. When I ping, it has to go and what? Come back. And I can ping. So that's good. So as you see that, I create what? VLAN 2, VLAN 3. VLAN 2 they can talk, VLAN 3 they can talk. In order to talk, I'm going to put a router. Now in order this guy, that guy, and that guy talk, they have to be what? Same VLAN. Don't forget that. Again, when I say show IP, oh, this is router is. Sorry. When I go back to the switch, in order they talk, you know, in order to talk default, they have to be the same port, and that to be the same port. So that will conclude our solution. Again, next video, we're going to talk about route and seek. What does that mean, route and seek? Route and seek, let's say you put another VLAN, another VLAN here. Let's say you have VLAN 4 here, then VLAN 5. Then you have to have what? A lot of router. And, it's, you know, these router has few interface, so it's very hard to do that. So Cisco came with the idea of route and seek. That's going to be next program. Again, all of these is going to be, this is our website, asme.com is. And if you go to here, blog CCNS, it's called CCNA, that takes you to this page. Now, when you go there, you see that we have router 6 uh, table. We have the click, when you click here, the good thing is that we put all of the commands here for you guys, all the command picture, everything's right, written down here with everything. And then at the end of that, we have what? A video. This is a free video, okay? Now, if you have a question, here's what you contact us. Contact us 301-984-7400. Or I highly recommend go to here and make sure when you go to the watch the video, please what? Subscribe to the video because every week we try to put a new video and you want to make sure to get those. Thank you so much and have a good day.